Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here with Alternative Brewing. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the Gargia Basana Automatic Espresso Machine. This machine, being automatic, will grind your beans, dose and tamp them into an internal group head, and then brew an espresso all at the press of a button. This really is that entry point into the super convenient coffee that's freshly ground right before you brew. And the Basana also has the ability to produce cafe quality steamed milk. So if you are interested in taking a look at the full range of Gargia's automatic espresso machines, you can by following this link right here. Let's now explore the features and discuss how to get the best from your Gargia Basana. The Basana's water tank holds one liter of water and is easily accessible pulled out from the front panel of the machine. In using an espresso machine, it is advised to use filtered water and you can purchase compatible filters that will fit directly into Gargia Basana's water inlet to prolong the life and the health of the machine's boiler. From the top of the machine is where you will add your coffee beans. It holds around 180 grams and this feeds straight into an internal grinder. From here, you can also adjust the grind settings in five incremental clicks from the adjustment switch that's poking out just behind it. Now it's in my experience that I've found on a majority of these automatic machines, the grinder is usually the weakest part, and that is that they often use ceramic burrs, which are not known to be great burrs for use in espresso brewing, as well as having a very limited grind setting range. I would then suggest setting that grinder to its finest setting prior to adding the beans into the hopper. So once the machine is turned on, it will first go through an automatic rinse cycle as everything heats up. And once done, the Gargi Basanya works essentially like any other single boiler espresso machine out there. And you won't be able to brew coffee and steam milk on it at the same time, but you move from one feature to the next via a twist knob on the front panel with steaming pointing to the left, espresso brewing in the middle, and that hot water that's dispensed from the steam arm to the right. And that on and off button, this will signify when your select feature is ready to use. Now it doesn't take very long at all for that stainless steel boiler to reach temperatures ready for brewing coffee. So once that on and off button has stopped blinking and is now solid, you can place your cup under the machine and either press the single espresso or the long coffee button to begin your brewing. The single espresso button is set to a default of around 40 mils of espresso brewed. But if you take into account that each espresso on the Gargia Basana uses only 10 grams of ground coffee, I would advise to program that top button to achieve a more common espresso brew ratio of a one to two, from ground coffee to brewed espresso. And luckily reprogramming either of the brew buttons to achieve a very reliable volume of espresso has been made very easy. And all you need to do is simply press and hold the desired brew button you want to reprogram until the grinder switches on and begins grinding. And with your cup set on a scales or using a measuring cup, you'll press that button once again when the desired amount is reached within the cup. And if you don't get it first time, simply repeat that process until you nail it. So I have discovered after programming the buttons that the actual volumes I get out of the machine were super precise, as every other parameter, I guess, has been controlled with nothing else really changing in the equation. And with that first button set now to brew 20 grams out, you're able to brew a traditional double espresso by tapping that top button down twice now, which activates a double brew of that programming, thus achieving a more desirable 40 grams of espresso out from 20 grams of ground coffee and you could perhaps program that second button to be more of a long black style coffee, and that way fill up a full cup each time, which would be more of a preferred coffee to enjoy black. And now that we have that 40 gram double espressos in our cup, it's time to steam some milk. First, we must prepare the machine for steaming. And in order to do this, we place a catch container under that steam tap and then switch the machine over to the steam function. Let all the water come out of the wand until there's only steam left coming out and then switch the machine back to that coffee function for a moment to begin heating that water back up. It's now with a small jug of milk under the steam tap, we can switch it back over to that steam function to begin steaming our milk. The Gargia Basana comes with a Panarello steam wand, which aids in simplifying the milk frothing process by alleviating common errors made when steaming milk. And there'll be no shortage of froth created, so if you enjoy cappuccinos or lattes, you're gonna be in luck. 
And once you're done steaming, place the machine back into the espresso brewing mode to stop steaming, wipe the steam wand with a cloth, and then pour your milk straight away into your cups to enjoy. Another great feature with the Basana is it will turn off automatically when left undertended for more than 30 minutes. And being able to brew espresso and steam milk on the Gaggia Basana opens the doorway to being able to brew any style of coffee, whether it's a latte, cappuccino, mocha, flat white or macchiato, as they all begin with the same base ingredients and only differ slightly in their preparation and presentation. And in cleaning the Gaggia Basana, the basic daily routine involves removing the spent coffee pucks out of the grinds tray from the front of the machine. It holds around eight espressos worth in there. And the drip tray, you notice has a little float popping up that will indicate when the drip tray is full. This is very easy to remove and empty out. And the machine will cycle through its own group head flushes every 15 minutes when left on. Periodic cleaning of the group head and descaling of the machine are recommended to keep the Gaji Basana working efficiently and automatically for some time to come. And that's the Gaggia Basana fully automated espresso machine for you. It may not replace a well-made espresso made from a barista manually, nor fully automate the milk frothing for your daily dose. But the Gaggia Basana does offer the very same identical brew group as every other of the more expensive Gaggia models does, whilst also being able to still control your brew recipes to discover an espresso you can reliably enjoy at the press of a button. With that inbuilt grinder and the automated cleaning cycle, it does go a a long way in offering a quality, compact and affordable package in the one machine. So if you have any questions on the Gaggia Basana, throw them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.